Awesome. Uh, thanks, Grace. And I'm just going to go ahead and switch it over to my screen at this point, and I'll kind of showcase some of these different features that we mentioned uh, to give you guys a, a summary of uh, all the functionality in Gemini for Workspace. OK, so we're going to start by taking a look at uh, the Gemini chat. Uh, so this is, as Grace mentioned, kind of the core functionality of Gemini. And many of you who have used BARD in the past, you'll be familiar with this type of format. Um, this Gemini for Workspace leverages the kind of the best available model for Gemini right now. Um, it's actually a, a better, more premium version of the Gemini that's available for uh, consumers. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of show you a few uh, demo um, prompts that we can uh, that we can ask and request the, the AI to assist with. Um, the way that you want to look at this in your day to day is kind of your sort of helper, right? An AI collaborator. Uh, so we're going to start with just an example. Um, I'm going to use that. I actually got this question from one of our customers uh, just the other day, and we were doing a Gemini demo, and he asked me, you know, hey, I have uh, an email I have to write later today because we have a maintenance window uh, this weekend, and our VPN is going to be unavailable for employees. So can um, Gemini create an email for me? So just to save time, I'm going to, going to uh, kind of cut and paste this in, but you can see um, what I plugged in was, you know, write an email to employees informing them that there'll be network network maintenance. Uh, the VPN will be unavailable during this time. So uh, I haven't provided a ton of contextual information, but let's see what uh, Gemini comes up with. And one thing is when you're prompting uh, the AI, you'll want to provide as much contextual information as possible. So the more specific you are, the better output you're going to get. But you can actually see that, you know, I didn't really give it a lot to go on. Uh, but it actually came up with a pretty good um, uh, example of a prompt. And so we can see here, uh, it does have placeholders for times and dates because I didn't provide that, but it's a fairly well formatted email, right? Um, so I could further refine this prompt and I could add in dates and times if I'd like. You can go back and edit the prompt later. Uh, but again, the way to think about using this tool is that it reduces that ideation time when you're creating new content. So, you know, if you were to kind of sit there and try to write this email on yourself, you know, you'd probably go get a coffee, stare at your screen for a couple minutes thinking about how you wanted to phrase it and what sections and things like that you wanted to divide the email up into. Whereas here, in just a few moments, we have a first draft that we can then iterate upon. Uh, so in this particular example, I would say that it probably saved you at least a few minutes uh, writing uh, this particular email. Now, another example of what you can use the Gemini chat for is asking questions about um, spreadsheet functions or also uh, like some coding if you're doing Google Apps script work, that kind of stuff. So I have another uh, sample prompt here that we'll enter and I'll just ask it, you know, write, help me write a function for Google Sheets uh, where I can import data from another sheet and then perform a VLOOKUP. So, you know, I'm pretty familiar with how to do both of these functions separately. It's a little messy to do, you know, your import onto a separate tab and then VLOOKUP against that. So, you know, how can I do it all in the same cell and make it nice and clean looking on my spreadsheet? So you can see here, there's an example of the syntax I would need to use um, and the order, right? So it's important to get kind of the order of operations correct on these uh, types of uh, functions. And there's also a detailed explanation of um, each portion and the, then an actual example that it created that I can open in Google Sheets um, and then practice with if I'd like. So um, definitely a cool uh, feature that you can leverage in um, Gemini. Oh, actually, one other thing I just remembered I forgot to mention regarding the email. There is a connection here to... Uh, your uh, Gmail and Google Docs. So if you want to export this to a draft in your Gmail, you can do that pretty easily. Um, so just regarding that email portion. Okay, the last example we're going to look at here in the Gemini chat app is actually something that I pulled directly from that prompt guide that Grace mentioned. So kind of shameless pitch for that, that guide. Um, this is a little bit more of an involved prompt but I'll kind of break it down, right? So we're going to ask the, um, the AI to help us generate a, a logo for our company. And our... There, 
say, uh, he, Megan asked if you could pause. Somebody in sure. the chat said that they um, can't see the screen. Okay. Could you so, increase the scale? Oh, the scale of? Yeah. Like this. Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better for everybody. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let me know. Uh, thanks for letting us know in the chat. Um, let me know if uh, there's any other technical difficulties and we'll try to troubleshoot that. So anyway, in this particular example, what we're going to ask the AI to do is generate a logo for our hypothetical company. And this company is a coffee shop that's also a video game cafe. So we're basically going to provide that context to the AI. Uh, we're going to ask it to include sort of both. Sorry. She said to pause again. OK. Uh, thanks, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. And just one, one moment, everyone, while we sort this out. OK. We're good? We should be. Okay. We got the go ahead. <laughs> cool. Green light. All right. So anyways, we're going to provide some uh, additional context here to the AI. Uh, so we want the logo to include aspects of both, um, you know, portions of our company, right? So it has to have a coffee motif and a video gaming motif. Um, and we're going to actually tell it who our target audience is. So again, this is something that when you're doing any kind of prompt, whether it's an email or asking it to generate an image or something, um, it's useful information for the AI to have. Uh, and then we're also going to ask it to come up with a couple different examples for us to use. So uh, kind of like a more modern logo, a retro logo, and a minimalist logo. Um, so given that, we're going to enter this uh, prompt. And you'll notice when it's generating images, it does take a little bit longer than just a text response. But you can see there's our modern uh, option, our retro option, and our minimalist option. So um, all pretty good. Uh, we could ask it to generate more if we wanted to. But um, just you know, a couple examples of things that you can engage the Gemini uh, chatbot for. All right, so 